Welcome. Everybody? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good evening. Welcome to the Georgetown Planning Board. Today we're going to have uh, minutes, vouchers, uh, we have correspondence uh, from Boxford or Newbury, and we have uh, two public hearings. And then we're going to have a discussion for our um, t the town warrant and um, where do I see the end? At least I forget. We have finally done regulations on erosion and stormwater control. May I have a motion for the minutes? Madam Chair, well, Chairperson, if you'll hear it, uh, make a motion to accept the um, move to accept the draft minutes for the April twenty fourth, two thousand nineteen planning board meeting as written or amended. Second. Discussion? Don't the something. This is the problem when you look at this stuff electronically and then. something huh? yeah it was something but uh, it's escaping me now it wasn't anything uh, earth shattering anyway Having to do with the minutes? Yeah, it, uh, I remember saying it. I have to remember that one, but it was it was electronic. I was reading, so I couldn't you know, grab the red pen. Right <coughs> well, we could pass out. We can vote again uh, at our next meeting if you need to. It, it, it wasn't anything earth shattering. My apologies for the delay. <coughs> Are we ready to vote? Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Now I found it. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so Harry. <laughs> Madam Chair. Yes. I'll make a motion to consider the um, consider the correspondence as read. Uh, a second. You want to put a an addendum on it? An addendum? Or do you want to, yeah, to consider renege the vote? No, 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 no. I, I make consider? a motion to consider the correspondence uh, as read. It's having been read and it's, it's read and accepted. Noted. And okay. duly noted by the board. No, I'm not going to war with Boxford over a public hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you if you could give me a ride. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. What is it? Is Are there you a second? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we Bob got a second. second. Oh, sorry. So we'll vote. So fast. No, I thought you were going to add it. No, no, no. you're not. No, no, we're voting. Okay, we voted for it already. You want to repeat the motion? Um, yeah, I'll just repeat the motion to consider the correspondence as read. And second. Are we ready to vote? Yes. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Vouchers? None? None. Okay. The correspondence? Is there anything of interest for anybody? That's what we just That's what we just did. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll open the public hearing. 51 West Main Street. Quest to continue. That's correct. 
Um, should we um, Do you need to open? accept the site plan review application first? We, we could do that. Yeah, unless, well, I mean, we, we are going, the intention is to continue it to the May 22nd meeting. So just do everything So we then. have to accept the application first, yeah. right? That's the um, first motion. Well, in the I, I want to preface this because um, for the May 22nd meeting, in all likelihood, we'll have uh, five members here. Mm -hmm. Um, in our legal opinion this evening concerning special permit, well, this is a site plan. I keep on thinking this is mm -hmm. a special permit, but um, if it was a special permit, mm -hmm. um, we would be better off starting the public hearing with all five members mm -hmm. here because um, mm -hmm. this is a site plan application. It only requires three of the uh, sitting quorum. Mm -hmm. So we have four members present at the next meeting. One person could actually vote against it if we got to a point where we we're going to vote for it or against it. So the fact is, is that we have never opened this at all. Right. But yet we have a request for a continuation. But basically a delay to open it. Yeah. Yeah. Or what you could do, since it has been advertised as you could open it and continue it without discussion, no, to your May 22nd yeah. meeting. That way the person who isn't here would be able to participate because we are making no presentation tonight. Mm -hmm. The reason for the continuance is that abutters were not duly notified. So we've rectified right. that situation. So everybody will be duly notified or has been for the uh, May 22nd meeting. Yeah. And um, so I think probably procedurally what you may want to do is read the, the hearing notice so you Public open it notice. tonight continue without discussion to May 22nd, and then we're good. And how does the board feel about that? Do you want to open it, or do you want to wait until the legal ads are done and the abutters are good? We could open it, but it's... You want to open it? But there's no discussion? It's just no yeah. I if mean, if go from there. <coughs> Harry? Um, well, I guess we have a couple options since we haven't accepted the review application yet. Technically yeah. speaking, we haven't accepted it. Nothing is happening. Uh, we could postpone that. Yeah. And uh, that would give the opportunity to have uh, a public notice re, re advertised in the newspaper and uh, appropriate abutter notification sent out so that all the abutters are notified. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, th that's another option. I, I, I don't know how. Yeah, that, the problem with that, it would be too late to advertise. For the public hearing on the twenty second. Well, could, so if we just oh, open it, and continue. could we go to? But then again, it's only seven days. That's, seven days for a site plan review, correct. right? But you're going to have to run another legal ad, right? No, so it's, it's just going to be like you really never saw it. Do. So the only the only <clears throat> thing at fault is the abutters notice. We, we, but you're going to have to do published. another um, because of the dates on your legal ad, doesn't it? Your legal ad that you have your legal ad there? Uh, the there legal ad does. To just open it gives a date of oh. yeah. should opening One the hearing. hearing. Yeah. One member's missing. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You, you should procedurally, I, I think it would be the cleanest to open tonight and continue without discussion to May 22nd. That way your five members, if they're here on the 22nd, will be able to participate. And that way, the notice doesn't have to go in the newspaper again because you've opened it tonight, continued it without discussion to May 22nd. Yeah, but the legal ad has a date on it. That's what I'm. That's mm. what well, it I'm has tonight. For. That's why you open it, and then you continue, continue without discussion right. to May 22nd, and then everything is is fine. And the notice that's gone out to the abutters specifically says that it was noticed for tonight, and it's been continued to the 22nd. Gosh, so they so have notice of that. It, it, it's no different, Madam Chair, if, if we came in and there wasn't a quorum and it had to be continued, mm -hmm. um, it would be the same issue. You, I don't I, I have no. to disagree because the, the issue is that we thing. don't have the abutters here. The abutters haven't been notified. That's correct, and that's why it's continued right. to May 22nd. They've been notified for the May 22nd date. They will be. And anyone coming here tonight would know <coughs> if we opened and continued. Anyone coming here tonight responding to the public notice in the newspaper 
would be in the audience and would be able to understand that we'd be moving to the it's a new date. For Correct. a new date. Or be watching on the two. Right. I'll be watching for it and know that we, it would be continued. Yeah. I'm good anyway. You guys want to do this? I'm good. Uh, Whatever way I'll get with that go. way. Yeah. I, 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 it doesn't seem like. It covers the legal yeah. side of it and, and it, everybody who needs to know about it. Administratively, it it's, I think, simpler. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it, John, what do you recommend? I would, I would recommend opening it. Mm -hmm. um, it. It was in the newspaper, it was published. Mm -hmm. it, you know, if we had to continue it for any other reason tonight, that's what we do open it and continue it. Mm -hmm. And the abutters this time will be notified um, in writing to appear here on the 22nd. So, okay. can I ask one question though? Mm -hmm. um, with respect to the Mullins Law, this hearing is opening tonight. There's an empty seat. Um, if it got continued, No, I think we questioned that with town council, if I understand where you're going with this. And he said you don't have to be concerned about the Mullen Law if it's just a continuation. It's if oh. you're going to discuss it. Okay. Right, because they weren't here for the discussion. So a continuation with no information taken gives you a freebie on the Mullen Law. Right. right. Oh, excellent. Good. Madam okay. Chair, if you will hear it, I will make a motion to accept the site plan review application for 51 West Main Street, Map 11A, Lot 32. I second. Okay. Are we ready to vote? Yes. Any discussion? No? We did it all. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. 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 And I will make a motion to open the public hearing for 51 West Main Street, Map 11A, Lot 32. Uh, with the understanding that the board will not be taking any information this evening. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do we okay. need to read the... Uh, yeah, we should read the so I can that's read. Usually, I have usually, the, yeah, the clerk. I have the yeah, notice here. Yeah. You got the, the notice. It's up. Okay. No, it's not allowed. It's prescribed. Uh, okay. So you are going to open it. That's the motion. I mean, thank you. All right. Okay, public hearing notice, Georgetown Planning Board, in accordance with the provisions of Section 165-83, Site Plan Approval of the Town of Georgetown Zoning Ordinance, the Planning Board will hold a public hearing on the following described site plan application, that is to restore and redevelop the existing commercial building located at 151 Main Street, formerly known as Sedler's Antique Village, and to construct seven residential townhouse units. Said property is shown on the town assessor's map as uh, map 11A as lot 32. The purpose for this public hearing is to provide information, answer questions, and to hear concerns about the proposed development. Said public hearing uh, will be held on May 8, 2019 at 7 p.m. In the third floor meeting room, Georgetown Town Hall, yeah, One Library Street, Georgetown, May. MA. Thank you, John. Yeah. Madam Chair, if you'll hear the motion, I will make a motion to continue the public hearing for 51 West Main Street, Map 11A, Lot 32, to um, seeing June 12th here, but I'm hearing May, May 22nd. May 22nd is preferable. Uh, to May 22nd, 2019. I second. Ready to vote? Yep. Aye, aye. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. May I assume that this documentation is going to be unchanged between now and the 22nd? That's correct. All right. Thank you. And we apologize for the mix up. We, well, I apologize as well. We'll see you on the 22nd. Aye. Thank, Thank you, you very good much. Good night. Good night. Okay, next on the agenda is our erosion and storm water control regulations. Madam Chair. <clears throat> yes, Mr. Lockettaria. If you will hear it. Yeah. I would like to make a motion. Mm -hmm. That motion is to open the public hearing in regards to the proposed erosion control, erosion and stormwater control regulations. Second. <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. 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 Should we read the public notice? 
sure. That one, the clerk has to do that for regulations, right? <laughs> <laughs> now I have to. Cool I, I, man. I, I do have to find it. You have to find it too. Uh, you're a cruel man, <laughs> I have it here. If you would like me to read that, I will. Okay. Uh, that is a public hearing. Zoning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Regulations. In accordance with the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 41, Section 81Q, the Georgetown Planning Board will hold a public hearing on 8 May 2019 at 7 p.m. in the third floor meeting room, Georgetown Town Hall, 1 Library Street, Georgetown, Massachusetts, for the purpose of providing information, answering questions, and hearing concerns about the adopting, about adopting erosion and stormwater control regulations pursuant to Chapter 57 Erosion and Stormwater Control Bylaw, which authorizes the Planning Board as the permit granting authority to adopt said regulations in order to effectuate the purposes of said bylaw. Do you want me to continue with the second paragraph? No, no I think that's procedural. That's matters. great. Okay. This is a long time coming, coming, and I'm so glad I am the chairman about it. I did want to emphasize that in the opening paragraph. <laughs> oh, I've waited there for what, 10 years, you think? Oh, it's, it's, it's been a while. You've been patient. <laughs> and with the help of uh, George Kaminsky, our uh, unsung hero, come to the plate and he helped us out. And uh, come on up and take a seat there. He was on the committee. Interested. Can he come up too? Or? If he feels like it, and sure. Everyone in the audience that wants to come up, come up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold back. Oh, I have a kumbaya <laughs> moment. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm George, um, George Comiskey, uh, 45 old Jacobs Road. I'm a member of the Park River Clean Water Association, and I've been on several boards and committees uh, in the past. Very good. I'm Bruce Freed, that's spelled F-R-I-E-D for the record, and I'm at 13 Lake Ridge uh, Drive here in Georgetown. Also um, Vice President of the Mass Collab Coalition of Lakes and Ponds. Thank you very much. So how do we want to proceed here, George? Uh, John, do you have any, um, should we go page by page, or should we? Um, we could do that. Um, we just we do a little bit of background so the folks understand that you yeah. know, we met, this was a subcommittee, <laughs> And we met many, many times over the last year. Yeah, I believe it was. It started in the um, summer. Months. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this this isn't just something that we just copied and pasted out of uh, you know took North Andover and crossed out North Andover <laughs> and replaced it with Georgetown. This is uh, it started out that way. It starts somewhere, and then it <laughs> you got to start being a blended yeah. mix of other ones. And, <laughs> We uh, like to think we, it's a hybridization of all the very best that all the towns have to offer. Best of breed, yes. Well, this, this erosion and storm water control is a general bylaw, Chapter 57, mm -hmm. and it has been on the books since 1993, and during that time there was not any regulations which was required, and the conservation was in the responsible party. And then three years ago, the planning board had a change on the town floor to, to give us the authority. So it took us three, three years. years. All right, do you have a copy of this, Paul? Uh, yeah. Bruce, rather. I, Bruce, I'm I, pulling you, Paul. I did, I have read it, but if you have yeah. a copy. Yeah, is there another copy um, for him? Geez, you know what, I didn't expect it. <coughs> you got a copy, right? It's it's okay, we'll, yeah, all right, if you, if you can, I, yeah. otherwise I can run downstairs. And no, no, that's all right. Talking about. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I must have the old uh, stormwater erosion control, control bylaw because it still says the special special permitting authority of the one. conservation commission. Here, we'll take one. Yeah, draft. And, and we can we'll, share. we'll share. These are the regulations. I'm talking about the bylaw. Oh, the bylaw. Just scratch that out. Oh, you have the old bylaw. <laughs> I saw I have the old bylaw. <laughs> just take that off. Well, the planning board. And stuff. <laughs> That's probably just what it says in the town website or something silly yeah, like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the only thing that changed with that change was that the planning board became the uh, permit granting authority as opposed to the uh, conservation commission. Mm. That was the big change. Oh. Yeah. yeah. 
It was a big change because it took us three years to get here. It took us long enough. Let's get to it. When, when I first arrived, um, Harry asked me, would you be yeah. interested in uh, tackling this issue? And right. We did. Yeah. Hi, welcome. <laughs> I put him off as long as I could. I Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. The tire marks are just well, we have faded on your shirt. Now. After, our, after the last town meeting and the first one, uh, each one of them are different, and it takes a lot of, uh, what could I say, um, troubleshooting <laughs> to, to get all the kinks out of any bylaw. Yeah. And this, the regulations were long. This is, this is the pages of it. Yeah. And one person that's not here this evening that did a lot of the editing and re-editing and reach out crafting, Andrea. So um, yeah, she so always came that's through after we had our meetings too. Right, that was that's hey, great. Thank leading you. Leading up to this meeting, I had I told her one more time you have to check and make sure we're on the same page with the table of contents. Right, the, it uh, is confusing when you have what is she got twenty two pages of it. Yeah, yeah, it's not a, a simple task. All right, was there any questions right off that you you'd like? Did you all get a chance to read it? Mm -hmm. The only, the only thing that's really different that you know you asked me to pick up on mm -hmm. as we approach the public yeah. hearing was coming up with a, a, an adequate and, and just fee so that's in the second paragraph of the one page staff report okay. and I explain the rationale for a major application fee being five hundred dollars and a mm -hmm. minor application fee being two hundred mm -hmm. yeah, and fifty I rationalized that based on the cost of an erosion, I mean, not excuse me, erosion, but a earth removal fee. That application costs $400. Oh, right. So because the subdivisions, site plans, and special permits, because they deal with buildings, uh, they deal with utility installation, there's, there's a lot more administrative review going involved with that. Um, as opposed to this type of permit, which is really disturbing soils. Now, if we come to a conclusion tonight of charging the 500 for the mm -hmm. major and 250 for the minor, um, please keep in mind that the um, consultant review fees that may be involved with these applications uh, still apply, whereby the uh, applicant would uh, bear the cost for the consultant fees. Those are what we always call the M accounts, right, right. John? The 53G yeah. accounts? Yeah. yeah. Under so, state law? Right. So any engineering cons <coughs> consultation, if we did need, for whatever reason, attorney uh, fees for consulting purposes, um, those would be paid for by the applicant. Right. As with all the other applications that we deal with. Mm -hmm. So in this particular case, we're dealing with an application that's pretty similar to earth removal. Mm -hmm. You know, because even with the earth removal, biggest thing is making sure the erosion control matters are taken care of mm -hmm. while the soils are being disturbed. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty similar type of application. If I may, Madam Chair, yes. if I may point out that it, it's probably important for people to realize that uh, uh, under subdivisions, under permits for site plan review, under special permit plan, special permits that we, that we give out, um, this type of review is done. And so those permits have larger fees that absorb this amount of work that has to be done. Yeah. So it, it seems fair to me. Yeah. I'm not really 100% certain that the amount of work that you do, uh, that 400 actually does cover earth removal. There's a lot to it. Yeah. But uh, maybe we should look at that and yeah. talk to the building inspector and maybe we should I believe every June we're supposed to look at our fee structure, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and it, um, it, take a look at it. But that's in one of those obscure bylaws or something. Yeah, and Madam Chairman, I, I would, I would think that we may want to do that on a, on a scale this year as an effort with the planning board and compare what other towns are charging. Mm. So if we, you know we're, if we're off base with any of our fees, I don't think <laughs> they are because I've I've pulled up a lot of communities, and it's in the ballpark. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to it, and especially in our town, what we're seeing now is because it's so wet. So many, you know, the pond, the streams, the the, the Parker River. Uh, what's remaining is very sensitive land to build on, and so it's going to be more detail to it. Yeah, 
Yeah. This spring, what I've been told, is probably your best spring to go out and actually view and photograph and document your mm. wetlands because they don't get much higher than where they are. <laughs> it's really hard, yeah. Are we supposed to do that in August, John? <laughs> <laughs> do it in August. August 14th, yeah. 15th. Uh, that that I'm interested that you should say that because I was thinking that this, you know yeah. we didn't put a time on that and now how are we gonna um, how are we gonna handle it or address it at all? Yeah, it, that know, would this, that would really you know take into consideration this type of application. That would really be taking into consideration what conservation commission. Right, I know they have a date of the April one. And Board but, of Health does too with their requirements. Yeah. So those type of permits would take into consideration the seasonal fluctuation. Mm. But getting back to the fees, maybe we could take a look at them. If we have time, maybe we could look at them outside of this hearing, of course. Yeah. But we should, should get back to them. My apologies for That's distracting right. everyone. Else. Diverting. <laughs> oh, attention. No, the fees are important. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. All right. Uh, can, Shall we do, go do page we, by page, and if we see anything that we want to talk? Uh, yeah. No problem with that. You know, do, do, um, do we want to um, come to an agreement as to um, the the two hundred and fifty for a minor and um, that would be five hundred for me. Five hundred for a major. Is I that, would vote for. It. Are you interested in a motion? Would you like me to make a motion to that? Please. I'll make a motion that uh, with uh, with the adoption of um, any of the uh, proposed erosion and stormwater control regulations that uh, the planning board adopt a fee of five hundred dollars for a major review and two hundred and fifty uh, for a minor application fee review. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Was that good, John? Yep. That Perfect. Adequate? Yep. Four zero. Okay. Um okay. Hmm. So um do you have any questions at all? I want the board members. Oh, I want the board members to understand it because it's it, we had how many four meetings and we they were long meetings going through it and discussing it and interpreting it and and re-reviewing it and seeing it again <laughs> in email and so you know if you if you had any doubt of understanding now is the time. I think the main thrust of it is. Uh, George, do you have any questions? Um, well, I think mostly the, if it's like a subdivision, right, uh, uh, you will be covering this anyhow. This was more to capture projects that were outside some of your jurisdiction. Is that, that was my understanding. Mm. The, the stormwater bylaw was created uh, when EPA came down with its MS4 requirements, one of the requirements is to have a stormwater bylaw. So the town fulfilled its its uh, EPA requirement by coming up with a stormwater bylaw, but there were no regulations to enforce it or for permitting. And um, you know, I've seen over the years that you know there there might be some uh, disturbance that doesn't get covered. And it's mm. it's uh, it's forcing stormwater off the site into our roadways, into our catch basins, and there's no regulation. So, I think that was the main p purpose. Um, the other thing I thought was important was that we were still um, permitting projects by the old um, what they call TP40 numbers, which are based on 1962 rainfall frequencies. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so we know that climate change has greatly increased rainfall events. So this, the regulations now will um, adopt the Cornell Atlas numbers, which are updated uh, yearly um, by their their uh, rainfall gauges. So um, you know that it has to, the any applicants have to be made aware that. They are now designing stormwater systems to meet current rainfall frequency events. Mm -hmm. And so that's an, an important aspect. And hopefully, what we will, 
I think this will lead to is since this is only capped as a small window that we can make the Cornell numbers uh, part of the subdivision regulations, site plan review, special permitting, right. and CONCOM wetland regulations. So, so we're all in sync. Reaching out You're to your, your, your right. spouse on the CONCOM mm -hmm. and say, hey, you know, we, we have to get this all, mm -hmm. you know, in, in one unified, yeah. unified in one, order. One approach. That makes yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a start, but, you know, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, we can help prevent anything that's going on in Iowa was saying now because you know that you know you see all the, the flooding that's occurring and right. uh, I think we're still at a good point where we still have a lot of uh, protected land and uh, mm -hmm. and I you know isolated wetlands that aren't really inundating us as far as uh, what we see out in the Midwest so right well, I can tell you George as an aside my brother-in-law yesterday had to be rescued from his truck oh my god where? Texas. Wow. Oh my goodness. And that's, I think it's it's important that it isn't just Iowa. It's oh. all over the place. It's yeah. the rainfall. Last year was in California. Yeah, it could go, it could, you know, whether the weather pattern changes, you know, it could be hitting us. So. Oh, it, it hit Massachusetts with the winter storms mm -hmm. last year, yeah. remember? Yeah, I remember when Route 1 was yeah. shut down. Mm -hmm. I had to go the wrong way on Route 1. Ipswich, Essex, it's Marblehead, it's the Winthrop intensity. got clobbered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The intensity. Mm -hmm. It's all about the intensity. And these address that. Yep. And good for us. Step in the right by direction. Having, I by say. having a moving metric that's by, have, based by on having one that adapts current, itself to right. the current changes. Current conditions. Yeah. As opposed to what a change from says. when yep. I was. Well, go ahead. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, Madam Chairman, I just want to clarify what George is saying. So now we need to incorporate um, the Cornell numbers into the regulations that right. you cited. Right, because right, right now they say they. Uh, I think the subdivision regulations address the Mass Stormwater Handbook. The Mass Stormwater Handbook uh, address, addresses the old TP40 numbers. Which so, is what, so we, 2008. We need, to, we need to change that language mm. wherever you see Mass Stormwater Handbook right. here in the planning board uh, documents. Quick yeah. question sure. for, for, the, for the planner, if I may. Mm -hmm. um, John. Uh, assuming these are adopted at some point, once they are officially adopted, um, would we be able to do a simplified method where we would go into the subdivision regulations and reference these and make sure that the stormwater standards were in conformance with Chapter 57, Stormwater Control? Would yeah, that be an yeah, yeah. easy and simple way, or would we? I mean, the, the stormwater handbook does talk about good uh, stormwater designs and, and, mm. and best management practices. So as does this, but uh, yes, yeah, as does this. Mm -hmm. So all we need to really reference is when they talk about the stormwater calculations, mm -hmm. that they shouldn't be addressing the mass stormwater handbook. They should be addressing maybe this bylaw. These regulations. That's what I'm suggesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You, just I agree. I agree. Just re reference this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Reference. Yeah. yeah. Incorporation by reference. Well, I like it repeated. I, I like to see it. I don't want to look for this when I'm working on a subdivision. Well, you know, I want to. The advantage, the advantage to incorporating by reference is, if we found a flaw that needed to be fixed. Yeah. Five years down the road, after we incorporated these into the. Stormwater into excuse me into the subdivision regulations into special permits into this 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 and this. Mm -hmm. Then by changing this one document, mm -hmm. the reference falls back to the amended. I understand document. if all things being perfect, but when you have a, you have a hearing and you've got your subdivision regs in front of you, and if it says you have to look for the storm. You know, how many people are doing their homework? Well, we I want think, it all together. I, <laughs> I, I think that nowadays, with electronic storage data, mm -hmm. you can incorporate that um, that reference like, right into right the in, packet. Like a hyperlink. hyperlink. Right, yeah. exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So shows, I, shows us saying just in terms of data it. management, mm -hmm. um, what Harry's saying is right on the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's you know, more important that your peer reviewer no, if these get adopted, knows it right off the bat because 
an applicant might be submitting a stormwater report and we might not be able to tell by the engineering if it's if they've used higher numbers but Larry or whoever you mm -hmm. uh, be, use from BSC should say well, well no you your curves and your 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 frequency data is rainfall data is it isn't addressing the Cornell numbers and you need to you know put a another rain garden in somewhere again. or somewhere, yeah, you know, to, to capture. Algorithms, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. it's not, it's not going to, we're not engineers, so we, right. we have to rely on the scientists who do, do come in front of right. the boards, you know. Right. Engineers have to be made notice. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, if we do get a uh, consensus that this is, these are the regulations and we adopt them this evening, we send these immediately to Larry Graham. So that he's aware of. He is aware of it. Yeah. And they are. And he is aware of the Cornell. And the as Cornell soon as these. Oh. <laughs> and as soon as we vote on them, any applications from this day forward, we'll have to follow it. Not yet. Well, any <laughs> applications for a Chapter 57 yeah, stormwater okay. regulation right. for stormwater right. permit. Not all. Permit. Not everything else. No, not until not we anybody else. Open up. We would have to hold a hearing like this for the subdivision regulations to adopt this and incorporate by reference. We'd have to open up might public want hearings. To, might want to do them all together. <laughs> that yeah. would be the, that would be the goal. Yeah. It just have to be public hearings. Yeah. Yes. One unified. But I think they could be very short <laughs> public hearings. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we could put them all together. I'm yeah. sure there wouldn't be a problem with yeah. that. We'll have to look into what we need to do. You might want to, you know, there might be other changes in the subdivision regulations. You might. It could be. Be, be looking at already, right? Uh, no, complete overhaul. <laughs> <laughs> Scrapping and starting it all. <laughs> Not a tire change. He just, <laughs> he just handed us that. I didn't oh, see that on that list. Pandora, what box are we opening? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> That's a summertime project. Oh boy. <laughs> Harry knows what time's involved with this stuff. This is, this is a relevant. Were you able to follow us, Bruce, when we're talking yeah, MS4? Absolutely. Good. And I've read the regulations. Yeah. Uh, I wonderful. Do, I do have one question, though. Sure. So, <clears throat> what recourse does the town have if a stormwater management system either fails to work the way it was intended right from the start or falls into disrepair, say, in a condo association or even with a, a resident? Who enforces? that if it does fail or doesn't work properly right from the start. Very good. Conservation Commission, DEP. Yeah. Who, well, who it, with it these regs, the planning board um, is the maintaining authority. So whenever we do issue a permit in regard to this, mm -hmm. um, we have to monitor it from here on out or assign that monitoring. And um, you know, if we assess at the time of approval, it's going to need a permanent bond you know, to maintain it. Well, according to, to uh, we have that on page four, okay. Does that designated agents. In accordance with Chapter 57, the planning board defines as its designated agent, the town planner, and hereby delegates to such agent the administration, implementation, and enforcement of these regulations as specified below. More work for John. But you won't, you won't get a gun, John. <laughs> or a badge. Right. So we'll have to work seven days. So I guess the real the real <laughs> question then is, you know, so what 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 do you do? Do you call the conservation commission? I mean, or do you, you know? No, you I think you would call the advisor, the consultant. Consultant. Yeah. Can I can I ask? It's a hypothetical, yeah. but can you give me a better hypothetical? How's it failing? What's it not doing? Well, um, not getting wet. Um, no, it's getting wet and running out into the street. Say it's spilling it's out, clogged up. It did maybe um, it wasn't built properly, even even though we thought it was. Mm -hmm. and well, there's another one out there, or, or something. Yeah, or it's gone into disrepair. Maybe after five, ten years, siltation. Yeah, so that it's not holding, it's yeah. not draining. You remember, you remember um, on uh, Bailey Lane, there were Bailey catch Lane. basins uh, d down. Yeah, uh, Bailey Lane, like where they didn't connect. Okay. Yeah. I'm not remembering, but go ahead. Um, there was oh, oh you couldn't go through. Yeah, there was two it, Bailey lanes on two sides, but you couldn't go through. Right, and the, right, the, the issue, conservation areas in the middle. The, there was an issue about um, uh, a catch basin, and who who was responsible for it? Whether the developer was, 
or whether the town. The town. Hmm. And I think we agreed the town was responsible, yes. and it was in a state of. Disorder. So that's all covered in here now, in the new regulation. Well, there's, there's an operation and maintenance plan that yeah. comes with every mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. approval. It yep. tells you who the responsible this, parties this, are. This might have been built well before any of that was. Yeah, I suspect that the developer was long gone by then. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then it tells you who the responsible party is after the developer, right? It could be the town mm -hmm. taking over the maintenance of the stormwater system. Mm -hmm. I, 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 would, I would say that just thinking it through, yeah. if it were to be overfilling its banks, not every... Uh, stormwater facility, detention facility, is always in the lowest area of, of the parcel, but they mostly are. Yep. And I would think at that point, it would be overflowing into a wetland. And as soon, if, that di if that wetland were affected in some way, you know, actually in any way, uh, then the Conservation Commission can certainly it. jump in. Sure. And uh, that's an enforcement order. Any one commissioner could write that and sign that enforcement order. Okay. Is, are there any times when the DEP would have to get involved? If the CONCOM isn't doing the job. <laughs> well, the conservation and the DEP are they pretty much together, the yeah. same regulations, same requirements. So, you know, if... if but the if DEP our has more power, though, right? What if it was filling into conservation? Well, you don't have many people to enforce. You don't have to. Yeah, it would depend on the agent of the conservation agent, if he could handle it or yeah. get it straightened out. Or, uh, or, or But there are and... there is lots of enforcement for conservation. Yeah. But if it's coming into the street, uh, if it's if it's clogging the street drainage, yeah. then that's... Then you got Peter Durkee. To okay. Yeah, you just better run away then. Oh, so the highway department <laughs> is coming out. Well, so, you, know, I, you don't I, have to worry I about that. I lived in Peabody for some years, and you're probably all well aware of da downtown Peabody was a oh, mess with here. stormwater well, management. Well, I mean, it, a long it's time. isn't it like very low? Yeah. Level? Yes. It's like below sea level or something. Um, yeah, but it, it wasn't just because of that. They had a, a, a stormwater system; it just wasn't working, and they had to go back in and redig it and, and put in bigger pipes everywhere. I mean, gotcha. it, it was old, and it didn't; it just didn't work. And you had sewage there. Yes. See. I mean, one, one of the like challenges. It's like everything in Mass, it's old. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Absolutely. At home, we were just talking about the age of ancient infrastructure. And if, if we can look a little bit over the horizon, knowing what we know about the increase in the intensity of uh, weather, um, we will save our children uh, oodles of money. Mm. We're learning how expensive it is to replace this infrastructure. Yeah. And it's not cheap to update your house or renovate your place. No, it's not. Driveway even yeah. is expensive. And the, and the other thing <laughs> to keep in mind, this is the, the final phase of the Clean Water Act, is yeah. source point sol uh, pollution. So yeah. this is what we're going after now, is mm -hmm. all of this erosion, sediment, pollutants that are entering into the uh, stormwater. Wait a minute, John. Does this help us with our MS4 requirements? That's what it's about. It certainly oh, does. Okay. Yeah. It sounds like a good thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it started in 1970 with the Clean Waters Act, mm. and, you know, and it mm. progressed all these years to this is the final part of the puzzle. You know, and they're getting the, stricter and stricter is, every year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More is asked I of mean, us. The first phase was getting all the pollutants from just pouring into our rivers and streams, mm -hmm. you know, which mm. is still going on, but it's under control more than it was. Um, you know the bigger it's cities. Scrutiny. I mean, it, yeah. I know the Merrimack. You know, in a there's big, still plenty of storms. I and I problems that haven't been resolved. But yeah. They, yeah. You know, they're being forced to. And it's a hard. I mean, it's a hard task. There's no yeah. question. But it's one that has to be. It, it, you know, just an analogy is when um, the handicap act came into place. Mm -hmm. Every you know, a lot of people were just so worried about how are we ever going to be able to afford this. You know, and 30 years later, um, you know, the task is pretty well. <laughs> Defined, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm. And conquered. It took a long time. But, you know, it's the same with this stuff. It doesn't happen overnight, but, you know, it happens perseverance yeah. in waiting how many years for three. it to become regulations? Three. We're here. Yeah. Just about three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, three years is way too long. I'm sorry. <laughs> way too long. And as someone way said long. a long time ago, Rome wasn't built in a day. Mm -hmm. yeah, neither was Georgetown. <laughs> it was destroyed in a couple of weeks, but it was. <laughs> yeah. It only took one match, one violin player. <laughs> um, 
Matt, uh, I, uh, are we going to go, go through, through this yeah. one by one, it? or can we go directly to um, something that I know was um, a, a, a last bit, and I'm not 100% certain if you could help me find the TSS removal rates, and I don't want to sound Under wonky. Design criteria. What page are we looking at there? It's on a page 17. Page 17. 18. 18. 18. Well, I got it on 17. <laughs> design huh? criteria. Oh, yeah, design criteria starts. Yeah, it begins there. Uh, A1, 2, this is 2B. This All is right. design 85%. criteria, and it's uh, remove 85% of the annual load of total suspended solids generated from the total post-construction and previous area on the site. Um, because that, that's 5% more than what DEP recommends. Mm -hmm. I really wish that one of the engineers uh, who work on um, who work with stormwater were here tonight so to that, give us some feasible. input to see if uh, anything's feasible anything anything can be achieved but monetarily the, cost the, the, the question is the difference between and this is uh, I'm not an expert on this but the difference between 85 percent removal and 80 percent removal is the difference between using soft solutions versus structured solutions. Yeah. They, 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 I don't want to see anybody install a catch basin if they don't have to. If you can do it with a rain garden, I want to see a rain garden. If you can do it with a grass swale, I would, pre personally, I'd prefer to see the grass swale. Well, if you read number four. Love to. All projects must consider, and unless impractical, Propose and implement low impact development. Oh, gotcha. I, mean, it, I mean, it stresses that. So, I mean, certainly you can press upon the applicant. Hey, you know, we want really like it, LID. Hmm. You know, we understand hmm. you're going for the special permit, and we really like LID. <laughs> right. And, and I get that. My, my concern is that uh, the developer that is uh, applies for this uh, finds the criteria is not going to be the person that does this uh, the person is not going to be the person that designs the stormwater management system that's going to be an engineer he's going to get an email that says i need a design i need this this location with this amount of impervious area i need a stormwater design management that meets tss removal of 85 percent he's got an engineering problem he solves it with an engineering solution whereas if it was 80 percent he might be able to solve it strictly with soft, uh, non-structural solutions. Well, they have their, that opportunity to to come in with a uh, alternate plan. Anybody that's doing, for instance, one lot that they that they want to develop, mm -hmm. uh, they're not going to get the same type person that does a big subdivision. I think uh, and single not, family are exempt. Right. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. That these, there are exemptions li listed in. Yeah, but it, but it is also um, is that it's not in here exemption, is it? It's in the uh, bylaw. Yeah, uh, Madam Chairman, I did talk to um, Larry Graham uh, about this percentage when our committee was going through it and trying to mm -hmm. figure out whether we were going to go with the eighty or eighty-five percent, and uh, he didn't have or uh, express any concern with the eighty-five percent as being appropriate. Well, I know it's achievable. I, I, I get it. I mean, yeah. you, you, you can ask for 90, and you, there are engineering solutions. You can get, probably you can get up to 95. I mean, yeah. it's <laughs> it's going to be crazy, but, yeah. you know, you can get there. Um, I'm, I'm sure he doesn't. I, I just wonder, well, um, I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. And he did say that you can achieve the 85% with soft. Oh, he did? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Um, then I'm good with it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I knew like that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I, I wish I did. I didn't realize yeah. he said that. In the handbook, there's like 20 solutions. They, 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 and they show them by picture, and, and they give you numbers, how much it's taking out, mm -hmm. how much phosphorus it's taking out. So they can use one, or they can use a combination, you know, mm -hmm. to achieve. 
their requirements. Yeah, I mean, have, you, have you ever seen the, the videos in, in the LID designs yeah. where the plants take up all the petroleum byproducts that mm -hmm. go in and they utilize the fertilizer? You know, yeah. they, they do pretty well with uh, petroleum byproducts. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It absorb them. Trees do too. It's not yeah. <laughs> Mostly trees. Yeah. Oh. So, I mean, it, it, things are happening out there that you wouldn't, you know, think are right. happening. But mm -hmm. Biological solutions. <laughs> Biological solutions are big. How many times have we been to workshops where the engineer would, would be on the stage and say, if you can solve this with trees, go for it. Absolutely. They're by far better than anything that we've come up with. Oh. <laughs> I'd rather see a, a rain garden than a catch basin. And, and yeah, effectively, and, they can handle the same amount of water. That's what the front of the <laughs> new Pembroke School has, as you go along. Yeah. It's like one uh, uh, rain garden into another, uh, well, infiltration basin leading into another until it hits the wetland. Oh, I wouldn't know that, George. The planning board never reviewed the new school. Oh, they <laughs> also, also, also really? they, yeah. they last a lot longer with less maintenance, too. Yeah. So. Okay. So it kind of cascades from one. It's a long story. Okay, how you doing, Bob? Are we? I'm good. Any questions? Nope. We ready to vote? So, so I'm, just to check, we we did remove the sixty percent phosphorus, right? Hmm. I'm what page are you? Right after 85 percent. I thought we stayed. We kept that. Oh, no, kept that. Yeah. We kept that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There was a different paragraph that we took out, but we left that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That stayed. Yeah. Um, let's see. The only other thing, um, you know, we were talking about um, operation maintenance plan. That is in here, and that requires you know the applicant to monitor this thing, annual reports. And so there is a monitoring aspect of this thing. Yes. It's all up to staff to make sure that um, stuff Page stays 13. operational. So 13. the planning board will review those reports annually. Yeah. It's all part of the permit process. This, this application process is probably going to be utilized rarely mm -hmm. because everything we do, 90% of what we do is subdivision permits, yeah. which is a different application that doesn't have to apply for this. Site plan special permits. That's the bulk of what we do. It would be a rare situation where somebody's just going to go out and disturb the property relative to having to apply for this permit. Because then you have But in those rare permit. incidents, they've just gone ahead and there's been nothing the town can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We found one operation like that, and they were caught by the um, state disturbing soils without mm. any local people knowing about it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they were handled accordingly. Right. I mean, the whole idea is don't go out there and make massive changes with your land without getting the, the proper permits. If you, if you need more than a shovel and a wheelbarrow, you probably should check. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if it isn't local, you don't want the state to catch you doing stuff like that. So they'll probably find you and everything else. Replication is costly and, and fines are. Costly. The EPA starts out, I think they're at like twenty six thousand dollars if they catch you something doing something. Wow. Should, yeah. should be permitted. Yeah. So don't be back to don't do it. Don't be back filling and do don't we, be bringing fill on. If we don't have that though, do we if they it's fine for a violation. Um, those are, fines are administered through conservation commission. With the fines for enforcement. Or you know, if anybody's caught messing around with the wetlands. No, I mean if they don't don't follow this at all, ignore the whole thing, and we and something happens. I didn't see any any um, fine stick. for yeah. you know. The stick. Failure to abide by this. Yeah. <laughs> well, failure to abide is a cease That's and desist order. That's the only thing that we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> the cease and desist order. And We're expecting everybody to follow park. this. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I have That's seen fines of a thousand dollars on different communities. Isn't uh, isn't there a, a fine of today or something to uh, that effect? I've seen the Army Corps of Engineers give a twenty. Twenty thousand dollar a day fine. Yeah. Filling in wetlands. Yep. Wow. Two, uh, yeah. Two, yeah. Actually, two, two houses away from me in Peter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Well. So 
fine, right? We do have them sign their life to us at the end of the application certification. And their firstborn and yeah. only a firstborn. No, no, no monetary value though. Mm -hmm. So that's the certification, that's the language that's up there. Because you said we don't have the power to, to buy? We can. We, with, with subdivisions, we do special permit site plans. Mm -hmm. uh, it's zoning violations. Anything that gotcha. is a zoning violation. This is, this is, is different. Yeah. yeah. Well, the main it's thing a zone. Is. It this these are regulations pertaining to the zoning ordinance, which is Chapter Fifty Seven, and any violations thereof. There's a universal fine complex involved with the zoning ordinance gotcha. and, and any violations. So this that would apply. You know any infraction. Yeah, uh, not, the to, not to correct you, but this yes. is a general bylaw. Yeah. It's not zoning. This is regulations, but they're regulations for a zoning ordinance. So. No, oh, this chapter, is chapter. Oh, chapter fifty-seven is just a bylaw. It's a general bylaw. The, the, the main thing is the, the the cease and desist. Anyone that's, that's that's taking on a project like this, they're the for some reason they haven't come before the boards to find out what they needed to do. Uh, the cease and desist is going to stop them cold. Yeah. And at that point, now they have to come and figure out, what do I need? Mr. Building Inspector, what have I done wrong? Um, I, I imagine somewhere out there, there might be someone that innocently does take on something like that. They go to, uh, I don't know, Taylor Rental, and they, they rent a bulldozer or something. I don't know how they, do they're allowed stupid. to do it, but <laughs> they, they decide I'm going to, I'm going to, Dig up my backyard and put in a 7,000 square foot uh, poi pond or something. I don't know. And they just go out and get a piece of equipment and start digging or something like yeah. that. But um, It's $300. $300 a day? In the general bylaw. It's um, each day. Each day. Each day is $300. And you'd have to, but you yeah. would have to go out there and document each day. Yeah, you put a yeah. cease and desist each on day. it. And then if uh, you can uh, maintain or install or perform additional erosion and sediment control measures, because even, even if you follow these requirements, these regulations, and it still has a problem, they can still go in and, and come up with a solution. Even though you follow everything here. Oh, okay. And there's still a problem. If this, if it, if it all fails. Yeah. Okay. If it's not an adequate. Yeah, and 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 nothing is perfect, but it, you still have to come up with solutions to mediate it, to maintain it, and if you're not going to be cooperative, then you're going to get fined three hundred dollars a day. For I think um, that's in the in the chapter fifty seven. I think I think we're covered. I think I think got it. Mm -hmm. I think we've done a good job here. I think we did I'm a super job. I'm not saying that just because I am part of it. I think uh, I think it's been a long time coming. Yep. And uh, well, then we have to have I a committee. Prevent it and I, stop it if it starts, and not necessarily make money off of it. No, no, no. You want to compel the individual to do it right to stop and. Do what, do what has to be done. It, it's a good thing to do is to get on these committees and then you go over the bylaws because a lot of this I don't know. I still am not sure I know it all. Yeah, none, of us, none of us know it all. None so, you know, to do a subdivisions, because I recall when I was first here and I was on the zoning board, that's when we finally got a book all together with all the zoning amendments in it. Mm -hmm. And the provisions, and if you put it all together, all that we had was strips of paper. Right. We didn't have. Uh, and I got on it. I said, "You're didn't kidding me! I couldn't believe there was no manual." No bound version of Chapter 165. That took quite a while to get it all together. In the olden days. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good way to learn. You know. I, I, if if I may. Sure. Uh, I'd just like to say, uh, George, uh, without your help. I don't think we'd be here tonight. Mm. Honestly, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not joking when I say that. You were incredible, incredible help. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome, man. It, ha well, it helps the watershed, and uh, you know we're, we're reaching out to all the watershed communities, Newberry, 
Raleigh, you know, anyone who, who needs the support and help. So, again, thank you. Thank you. Providing together. a very valuable service to yeah. this yeah. community and to local, all the communities. And, all. and while I'm saying thank yeah. you, Mr. Free, thank you very, very much. Yeah. Bruce, if I may call you Bruce. Yes, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. I appreciate your participation. Uh, you know, fighting your way through that crowd to get to that seat tonight. I know. It's <laughs> no small feat in and of itself. You should, you should, we have an empty seat. You should be on the planning board. One of you gentlemen should run Thank for you. it. Write me in. Really? <laughs> right, right, you I think he's offering right himself right now. I'll, I'll gladly join the committee. Write me in. Really? How do I spell it? B R U C E F R I E D. F R I. And then I fill in a little circle and check the box. Ooh, yep. Check the little box. That's it. Next Monday. Check the box. Next Tuesday. Monday. Monday is election day. Monday is election day. Seven to seven to eight. Eight to eight. Eight to eight. Yeah, it's eight to eight. And we're. We should write you in though. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm, okay. I'm going to write you in. Yeah, I'm going to write your well, name you, in. You know, I, I came before this committee um, when I was doing my, my doc permitting, and, and uh, I think it's very interesting. I'd like to be a part of this, yeah. Okay. Well, I have to say, I, I learned something when you came in. And we, the doc we all did. Yeah, we all did. <laughs> <laughs> so did the learning. DEP. We, we learned everything we needed to know. <laughs> You're like, permit them. Oh, nobody does know. this. <laughs> <laughs> more than I wanted to know. <laughs> Well, we need your tenacity. <laughs> um, your motion? If you will hear it. If you will hear it, Madam Chair. And uh, can I have my script, please? Thank you. Um, okay, so to begin with, I'm going to move to um, find out if there's any other further comments from the audience. Um, is there any other comments from the audience? <laughs> Baron, none? There is none. Hearing that, Madam. Madam Chair, I, uh, I move to close the public hearing for uh, storm erosion and stormwater control regulations. I second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So the hearing's closed now? Yes. And so we're back in regular on. meeting, right? Mm -hmm. Why, do make a, do, did you want to make a motion or something like that? Did you want to do that? <laughs> Can I shorten it? I move to adopt the proposed erosion and stormwater control regulation as written and as amended and have the subject regulations in the entirety included in the meeting minutes. Further said regulations and their associated fees shall become effective upon the expiration of the appeal period thereof. I will, sec I will second that. Yeah. Are we ready for a vote? Yes. Yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Great job, guys. Oh, good. <laughs> Do you, have, you have no idea the satisfaction I just got by saying hi. Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> that's, just, that's why I, good night. I, I allowed you to Thank second you. it. Thank you. I, the next I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so, we're writing him in. I don't know what we're doing. I know like, what I'm doing. Is somebody being appointed? F R I E D. F R I E D. Is that the spelling of his name? F R I E D, I believe. So, like fried. Yes, fried. fried but, but it's, it's not pronounced that way. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Bruce. And Bruce. 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 Right. All right. Okay. Now we have a discussion about uh, the town meeting. Yeah. Are we going here? Um, We're doing discussion on the Finance and Advisory Board Annual Report and Recommendations. Oh, the That's a typo, right? But, but this that? was already... No, yeah, that, you know what, Voting it's on only on the agenda for discussion purposes if the board wants to. Oh. Um, you know, the results of the town meeting. Oh, oh we got to pat ourselves on the back? Or everybody turn to the left? And it, back it was a, right a right very side. good town meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Fine, yeah. Fine, putting. It, it went on forever. Yeah. <laughs> But a lot of important work was achieved. Yeah, I know. A lot got done. But yeah, we did accomplish a lot. Yeah. And, yeah. And I think you did an excellent job in articulating, and Harry as well, in articulating the issue of 300 feet boundary to boundary. Yes, because that, that was an issue really, there. Yeah, yeah there, were, there were questions. It's a, the whole marijuana world is uh, <sighs> very new, and it's scary, and um, there's a lot of... Our, my toe is in the water. I can't put my foot in the water. Um, 
but you articulated that the issue very, very well. And as you say, it just... I mean, people think that the pot shop can set up at Theo's. Right. And I'm like... What are you talking about? And even um, one of our candidates for selectmen, he said it at some point. It mm. might not have been a town meeting, but I know I heard him say it or start read or something. And I'm like, yeah. do you know <laughs> what the regulations are? It's like, oh. yeah. It's in the overlay well, district only. Not for anything, but to, in all fairness, my map is not showing the district. My map is showing the medical marijuana district, yeah. which did, in fact, before we changed it to the marijuana district for, for retail and for right. other, other purposes, for business purposes, did show a small location in the center of town. Really? So if you go on my map right now, and I'm not asking you to because obviously we lost the connection, yeah. but if you go on my map, my map has not been updated. Yeah. Uh, no. And also, just, okay. just as a, a principal, my map, which we pay, I think, $3,000 a year for, did not update the November split of the lot down on um, National Avenue. Um, That's right. That lot was split in November. We right. signed that in November. The January change and update to the town's assessor's records should have updated the my map. I'm a little bit upset with yeah, my map. Yeah, um, and then, no, the reason for that, because the disposition, even though it was an a and plan, it was still held up in the Board of Selectmen. And, you know, it wasn't until the vote at annual town meeting that the land can be conveyed out. The conveyance and the, and the separation of the A&R lot has nothing to do with one town meeting before. Yeah. But um, it, it, there, there was an issue why it didn't show up. And, and it had nothing to do with um, uh, Merrimack Valley not updating it. Um, and I, I thought Merrimack Valley did update there's a little cloud there, and you point to the cloud. See if I can pull it up here. No, it's the, in the um, in the side uh, under the layers. Yeah. You're you're still talking medical marijuana. This is take care of that. Yeah. With Yeah. You're, uh, you're thinking. Uh, are you thinking of okay. um, the e code? Okay. You're thinking of the e code with the, with the new okay. yeah the, the new laws are all listed yeah. out like pocket parts. Yeah, that's e code. But as far as my map is concerned. Yeah. And the, no, I'll take care of that. Yeah, I, I, I certainly believe that, yeah. Um, we yeah, approved they, that lot split for that lot that was down off of National Avenue. We approved that in November. It was recorded shortly thereafter at the Registry of Deeds. And that month, it should have gone to the Board of Assessors, like every month, at the end of every month, everything that happens goes right. to the Board of Assessors. And that update should have happened on the map. Yeah. I, don't think, uh, I don't think my map's been updated since 2018. I was, I incidentally, I yeah. I know Tom's been working with Gerard directly, you know, with all of these well, something. Then Gerard is really dragging his feet on this That's one. That's right. All right, well, we'll get on him. Next time he sends us the bill. But we back to send your, him a note. your comment, dear Trillian, it was Theo's is not in that industrial area. Right. It's way over in, uh, there's a small piece by the Bagel Company, Mulden Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, the IA district. Uh, it's very short. It's only like half a block. It used uh, to be medical marijuana. That that was, that was because we had just out. labeled it as a, the industrial mm -hmm. districts, and that had to be corrected at the following meeting. Gotcha. Yeah. But, but yeah, but, like Theo's across from Pearly. I, I don't think no. so. <laughs> In no. the library. My People yeah. don't. And that to me is still something that I could have asked. You brought that up. That. Um, there's still that requirement that you can't have, you need that 300 space for two marijuana businesses. Yeah. That has not changed. Right. That's the that's this books for the state. So you still have that to consider when you want to fit it in. Right, right. right. Yeah. And, and there, there, also the other question too was the way it was worded. trying to think of it um, you had the you had the districts I understood the districts as being um, no more district you took that out you put in from property line to property line you were considering it correct now we, we didn't already make that change that that change no, wasn't no, that, no, no. the only language that changed was to allow for the board by supermajority 
vote of the full board. Okay, so we still have that to, then. To waive, the, to waive the buffer requirement, but only if the two subcategories are complied with. And that's on a case by case basis. Yeah. All right, but and you, you need four out of five to agree to the waiver. Yeah. But that did, did, what is the difference from uh, the provision of our regular zoning was a lot more of a side and front and rear to mention than the marijuana business was given less, like half, the twenty feet instead of forty feet from side, and you already did that in their original bylaw. Are, are you talking about the the dimensional side setbacks, the rear setbacks, right. in in the in the medical in the cannabis in the medical marijuana bylaw is where it began. Yeah. That transferred over into the uh, the that is cannabis always... business ma uh, marijuana business bylaw. That right. that got transferred over. Um, so they're also they're getting that they're getting a they're getting a. Substantial change in our regular zoning for any other business that would not be able to get that um, consideration. Let's call it that. So the marijuana business got the side as less half of the requirement of any other business going into the industrial. Plus they got this other buffer thing. And, and, uh, so I think we have done all we can to accommodate and encourage marijuana business in Georgetown. Well, the side setbacks of the buildings are still still 50 feet, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's 20 and 40. We have that in our regular marijuana. I, I thought there was. I thought. I, I thought it was 50 somewhere, but I'd have to check. Yeah. I'd have yeah. to check. It's it's. Um, so we have accommodated as much as we can, but even at that, you know. When an application comes in, you got an allergy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just starting to kick up. Yeah. When an application comes in in that area, you're going you're gonna to add that to the district and fit it in. But the way it's, that's it. The way it was worded, it said that if you can't fit it in in any other district. Now, if a fellow comes in and his property is, is odd-shaped and he's, he couldn't fit it in, then he's, you're considering, can he move that elsewhere in another part of the district? No, I, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the, the <laughs> one and two subcategories yeah. below the language that we changed that allows for the super majority, by super majority, that the buffer can be uh, waived. Um, that, that, that criteria, if he wants to locate on lot A, <laughs> that's where he wants to locate. Mm. He does have to meet that criteria so that he can get the waiver. Um, the language does state that you can't locate anywhere else in, in Georgetown. Oh, I read it Yeah, different. anywhere else in Georgetown. That, that, that criteria of waiving the buffer would apply if you couldn't locate anywhere else. That's what it technically says. Mm. Yeah. But uh, if you couldn't make that, if you wouldn't be able to, if so, it would be impractical, yeah, or impossible or something. something but it said that. district, and that's what I was concerned about: is that they would have to go buy another property somewhere else if it could yeah. fit into the industrial. <laughs> yes, well, this this is a state law, this language, yeah. and it doesn't apply very well to mm. all communities. In Boston, for instance, is a half a mile distance required. Right between between retailers, yeah. and it allows for I think five total, because Boston proper is not that large of an area. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, they're very sparsely located when you have a population of you know seven hundred thousand. Sure. <laughs> you know, there's not going to be that many retail establishments. It's not like package stores every corner. Mm -hmm. Well, the main thing is uh, with a super yeah, majority, I, with, we we have the ability to waive. Yeah, if, and look at each one of these applications as they come in one by one yeah. for the specific particulars of that one special permit. And again, mm -hmm. it's a special permit. Yeah. The board can say no. If it doesn't fit, if it's not appropriate, the, the, yeah. the board says no. 
the other the main thing to keep in mind is the maximum amount of retail depending on what happens next week in the ballot the maximum the towns are going to ever have is two yeah unless mm-hmm. that part of the law is overchanged so overturned so all we're dealing with are wholesale type establishments um you know research and development type establishments right. that don't generate traffic yeah. You know, they have buildings, but, you know, we're not talking about a retailer that's going right. to have, or you like know, the, the drinks. I think, yeah. we, I think people are a lot very confused. It's like small retail. manufacturing, mm-hmm. right. light industry. Yeah. Yeah. If we do our job right, if yeah. we it'll do our fine. job right, it'll be fine. no one's going to know it's there. Right. And it'll help the town because they'll get money and, on top of it. And so. one of the things we've already done right, we've had a major modification proposed um, with the one we were dealing with uh, at our last meeting. With 68, the, 70, 10? With the Tink? beverages. Yeah. Half half of the building mass has been eliminated from that I'm site. not discussing that outside of hearing. No. But, the, you know, but the, I, I would like to bring that up under other business. If you think it's appropriate, would it need to be re-advertised, or do we make that decision? No, I don't. No, it's less. In, in other it's words, you, instead of the two less. buildings, it's just yeah. one? So you're talking about a hypothetical? Yeah. A hypothetical proposal that's come before the board that is diminishing the impact would the board ask that that be withdrawn and resubmitted right I think that would be personally a good, I would not um, I'm used to seeing many many projects come in that don't look anything like the original one. well by the time they get yeah, but this is a whole the door, building they don't look like anyone yeah. Yeah, yeah and as long as it's you're not removing. further impacting what was advertised, it's reducing. I th- I like it cleaner. I, I'm more in, in favor of that. Withdraw without prejudice. They had so much work to do. It that, was all preliminary. Yeah, yeah. That, that that you know, advertise it again and whatever you uh, feel comfortable with. The hypothetically speaking. Yeah. I, I don't have any. I I like the clean thing. I think you don't have to. You don't have to do a dance. Oh, see, I'll have to forewarn them. <laughs> Roll yeah. your dice. They had so much stuff to do. I that was. And of course, we would never discuss it outside of the public That's hearing. Right. That's right. I think it was an of example course. of an applicant coming in before town meeting vote. I'm glad we. That's not all that was. Discussing it during outside of the public. We're not hearing. talking specifics. Oh, well, good. So, so are we re- are finished? Yeah, ju- I just want to. Everybody got a copy of that, and um, yeah. everybody got a copy of no, the upcoming, upcoming <laughs> meetings. Um, just a little look ahead. Any board uh, management? One? Can I? Can I steal one? Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think okay. they got stopped. Here. The clerk always gets two. That's what it is. <laughs> no, no. The clerk yeah. always gets the extra. Uh, copy. I want you may not have left one for me over here. I, I wouldn't be here. I don't have any extra <laughs> copies of it. I yeah, took that one. Oh. Is there any reason we have numbers on these? Uh, I, I just did that myself. I scribbled that. You just hit automatically put numbers? So um, all we really need to know, we have a big meeting for the 22nd scheduled. Um, do everybody here planning to be able to be here for the 22nd? Yep, my uh, daughter should be home by then. Yeah. Talking for <laughs> Carlton, right? Four and Carlton, we should right? have our new member on, so we, we should have a full complement of the planning mm-hmm. board. Yep. Hopefully. Hopefully someone will get written in. And the 22nd, as the schedule goes, that'll be the um, the largest meeting we're going to have through this nine projects that we're going to be dealing with over the over the next few months. So that's the only thing on the 22nd? No, we didn't, didn't we, we continue. Didn't we just continue? No, that no, we continued it. Right. So okay. for the 22nd. So that's the only one. Um, just those two that night? No. Uh, we'll have right. Settlers and then... Settlers in this one. In, in five, 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 um, 554 North Street, the little court. That's oh, right that's there. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which the butters, I think, have oh, issues okay. with that. Oh, okay, see that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There were a lot of butters okay. there. Oh, in yeah, 51 West Main Street. 51 West Main Street, 554 North Street. I don't know what I did with the thing. Carlton Drive. Where's Carlton Drive, oh, yeah, this, that's yeah, a Quonset. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so there's four I don't remember public it. hearings that are scheduled for. Us. Oh yeah, and the Noonan's also. That oh yeah, that's gonna be a long night. Yeah. And well, Noonan's, it, it, no, Noonan's won't be on. One hundred three Lake Ridge. I, 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 Noonan's is an informal. Um, we're just waiting for them 
to um, submit the review fee because that has to go to um, Larry. That's not going to be on until we get Larry's report, and that's the instruction of the board. You know, once we have Larry's report in hand, the earliest available date will have it will have a schedule for the planning board. Uh, and I don't think at this point in time Larry's going to have time to review it for the 22nd meeting. Wasn't it a minor modification? It, it was a minor modification, but the the instructions were that you know Larry has to review it. So that means he's got to go out there. Uh, he's, ba he's backed up. <coughs> yeah. yeah, right now he is. All right. And Lake Ridge Avenue, there will also be. The yeah. Okay. That's the one lot. All right. Proposed court. Okay. That was another one that was uh, rescheduled. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the 22nd. Yeah, you, know, you got Lake Ridge, and then you have. Carlton Drive, Carlton. North Street, and then you have North the, Street. The, the, and West Main The four top ones. Those are the night we're, we're dealing with them yeah. next time. Yep. One, two, three, and four there. Yep. Fifty-one West Main, five fifty-four North Street, four Carlton Drive, and one hundred three Lake Ridge. They're just not all in the same column. Yeah. So that's going to be a long meeting. Yeah, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure you take a <laughs> rest in the afternoon. We'll need a break in that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That would yeah, be the we, only meeting we, we, we'd we have. Should have we should have pushed out mm. this this one tonight. The only thing that might happen, one if not two of those might get put out. Um, there's been no progress that I've heard of since we um, continued them. Mm. And they really have a week from today to get on the agenda. Well, 103 Lake Ridge, wasn't that the <laughs> one? They were open, they weren't here, they wanted a continuation? Yeah. That could be a very quick one. Yeah, it could be. Very quick. Yeah. Don't Lightning. Don't jinx it. <laughs> you never know. I told the cable operator hmm? this, this evening that it should be over by 7.30, but don't. Oh, yeah. 8.30. 8.30 is good. Yeah, it is. 8.30? But, but I, Come on, I, I, I tell her that we're done. No, but I didn't, I didn't know we were really going to spend so much time with the regs. <laughs> and, and we knew that we were just going to continue the other one. <laughs> yeah. Madam Chairman, yes. I move to adjourn. Madam Chairman, I will second that with All pleasure. Right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.